What's your badge number, by the way? We stand for freedom, liberty, and the Constitution. We will combat all those who are corrupt. We are America's insurance policy. We will not see our republic fall. We are everywhere. We are the 3%. While that motto energizes me to the fullest and truly is one of my favorites, it's way more than just your run-of-the-mill motto. That is a key motto among a band of brothers that I became a part of back in 2017, called the Three Percenters. I guess from an unofficial standpoint, I became part of them back in 2008, when I took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I would bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I would obey the orders of the President of the United States. But hey, who's counting time? Especially at a time where there's more of it than we know what to do with in light of this latest pandemic, the coronavirus. If anything, even somewhat positive came from the government intervening with businesses and with the issuances of stay-at-home orders. It was that it gave me some time to move forward on preparing everything to come forward with my story from 2017. When anyone is backed far enough into the corner, to a point of not having any perceivable breathing room. Instilled human instinct is to fight back. That proverbial last straw that was hanging by a thread broke not so long ago when for the third time in three years, my almost six-year-old daughter was used to chess piece against me in a staged war of the courts by her mother who in my opinion should have been committed to a mental asylum many years ago. But that's a different story for a different day. This is about justice, but not just for me. Because at the end of the day, no matter how cut and dry the evidence is that I was framed by a ridiculously corrupt local government, taken over by some of the most heartless, careless, and quite frankly dangerous people when banded together the way they did back in 2017. I say that with 100% full confidence. And while some may not side with me, we all know the extents the Democrat Party will go in order to ensure a win. So be it if morals and decency get completely tossed away. We've seen example after example of it over the last five years. So my story, when all laid out, should not come as a complete and total shock to most. Although the particular details of everything are absolutely disgusting. And as such, these people should absolutely be brought to justice. And I would hope that after hearing the details, the FBI would conduct a non-biased, thorough investigation into the facts of everything in order to do just that. It was not long after President Trump took office and all the proof had surfaced in regards to the extreme corruption shown by the Democrats to obstruct and break any law and moral code they needed in order to accomplish their set out agenda. There were many people that thought I was crazy for taking the counter stance that I took, standing up for conservative values, but ultimately for standing up for our constitutional rights and those rights which make us the constitutional republic that we are. I never had an issue standing up and speaking my mind on any issue. And while I may have disagreed myself with the views of others, I always believed they had a right to voice their opinions. There were many loudmouth liberals that called me every name under the sun, even threatened. My own family was confused as to why I You know, I am audio and video recording, Mr. I don't Brooke. Care. I don't care. You have a permit to be here. Um, the First Amendment, actually. You have a permit to be here. No. All right, you got to leave. Why is that? Because you're going to jail if you don't. 
I'm going to jail just yep. for standing out here and That's holding right. the flag. Demonstrate. You have to leave. Okay, where does that super? I'm, 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 let me let me just. One more time. Let, can I just ask I'm you? Ask can you, I ask no, you a question? Sir, I'm gonna ask you one more time to leave. If not, I'm gonna kill you to jail. Disorderly conduct. Okay, I'll 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 leave and take this straight to my attorney. Then huh? that's that's uh you can't threaten me with my First Amendment rights. You're hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, Mr. Pruitt. One, this fucking city is ass fucking backwards. Ass. Y'all see that? Hey, what's your no what's your badge number by the way? Deputy Pruitt? No, no I'm not. I'm leaving. I was asking you. I was asking you. I was leaving. I was leaving. Hey guys. Let me get you, let me let you get an up close and personal view since you want to get me on video. Yeah. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good. You want to get me on video? I'm not here to cause any problems. Actually, according to the order, while I was on supervised probation, I'm on banishment. It's on the order. It's on the order. It's on the order. I can pull it for you. It's on the order. Don't harass me. I'm not going to bother y'all. That's the best thing I can suggest. Y'all see how fucking crooked the damn police are down here? That motherfucker right there was one of the ones in this corrupt scandal to banish me from the city of Oxford and make me sign a covenant to not sue. To just completely destroy my rights as a citizen. And to be here as a patriot to make sure that no vandalism, no violence goes on, especially while they stand by and watch, not going to let it happen. We've got sheriff's deputies. They're wanting to pull out their phone and video me like I'm causing problems. I'm out here just to make sure the peace is kept. It's my oath. Marine Corps veteran, patriot, three percenter. I want to show you the liberal hypocrisy. So here, I get arrested standing in front of the statue, being by myself, holding the state flag. Hey, y'all are lucky. I got arrested standing in front of the statue to keep it. Why should the statue come down? Can somebody give me a good answer as to why the statue should come down? I'd love to know why the statue should come down. Okay. Do you not realize that, do you not realize that people lost their lives? You do, wait, wait. Do you, do you currently have any, do you currently have anybody in your family that, that, that is alive today that was a slave. Have you personally experienced slavery? 1926, okay, so he experienced slavery. See, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all have no good reason why you're out here. Y'all have no good reason why you're out here. Man, the hypocrisy, straight up hypocrisy of the left.
right outside City Hall, okay, in Oxford. I was standing in front of the statue May 1st, 2017, standing there with the state flag of Mississippi. The state flag of Mississippi. This is the time that, that the statues came under attack. And I was arrested for not getting a permit from the city to stand there and protest. How are y'all? So, I drove around the square the other day, and there were several of y'all standing over there by the bleachers. Um, I asked some questions. Nobody really had an answer. Y'all just went back to holding your sign. So I'm hoping somebody could. What is it? Give me an answer. Give me any good reason why the statue needs to be moved. Well, I mean, we've talked to Confederates today, and they said they the statue resembles their lost men and women. Yeah. Well, we have those two in other communities. And this one is a, a racist symbol of hate for a lot of people, and it perpetuates and justifies, and that's stuff that isn't fair for every American in the world. Now, so, are you talking about every Confederate statue, or just this one? I mean, no, we don't want it, okay, we also need to say that we don't want it torn down. It doesn't need to be destroyed. We understand a lot of people are scared that we're trying to break your, your history, and we're not. It just, it's, this is not appropriate. There are women, my, you know, I met a woman the other day, a black woman who worked worked in this building for all of us for 20 or 30 years and there are black women who work up here and have to look out these windows every day at this statue this statue says that it was for a just and holy cause and I just it's insulting to our people to have to our people who to, who is our people the country, every dang one of us every, every okay dang one of us. okay but if you put this to a vote wait can i if you, speaking? but if you put this oh, to a vote speaking, please i gave you a chance it would be shameful you, for so you you're not gonna let me finish speaking go ahead Okay, thank you. These women, these people who work here and serve our town and our county have to look at this celebration of the slaughtering and oppression of her people, of their people, every time they come in here. And do we have any empathy for them? Do you have any empathy for them? I mean, yes! I know. Do you know, do you, do you know completely what the Civil War was about? Because I can tell you right now, slavery was not the reason of the Civil War. I hate to tell you. Okay, but it was also but it was also a part of the North. All right, it was a part of the it was a part of the North, the Union, just as much as it was a part of the Confederacy. There were blacks that fought voluntarily for the Confederacy, just like they fought voluntarily for the Union. So when you're taking away these statues, when you're when you're trying to move these statues, you're looking at the, the real possibility of these things that have been around for 100, 110 years. Okay, of them getting damaged just in moving. I mean, you can't, th you can't just easily suggest moving. Uh, but, but I mean, it can be done. It, it, and what, what, but, but how many statues have already been, been... But that's not what we're doing yeah, here. We're that's trying to that's not what we're doing. We're not taking that. But, but you do realize how so stupid... You do, but that. right, you do realize how stupid you look being millennials talking about moving a statue. There's not one person you that is out of, of your... Okay, okay, you're the oldest one in this group. The rest of them are maybe even coming. They're two old men over there right now at the city hall. They're two old men. So, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe uh, ten more over there. And there's two old people. There's two older people. That's two older people, but this is about the future and people not being afraid. This, this is okay. About okay. Look, look. I'm gonna, you know, people are shooting okay. Emmett Till statues, and our universities are protecting them. But, Do you think that's not intimidating to people still? No. This is the symbol for that. And I'm sorry that it's Confederacy that if that's what you're protecting, but we're we're sick of being bullied. We're not gonna be bullied anymore. We're not. I just, I, you know what? Just to get on your page or just to throw out, uh, you know, even if your your argument remotely made sense when you erase history you ask for history to repeat itself Nobody so even if horrible. even it if is. this I was even so. if this was about slavery has I absolutely 100% agree with you i made that same but even if somebody else out here the other day okay so you want to remove it, it. so so move you think it. you think this move is what it. it was about 
You, you think you think that that the Civil War was fought over slavery? I'm not getting into that with you. There are layers. <laughs> You're not getting into that with me. But but no no. I thought you wouldn't back down. I thought you would you I'm would answer the question. Down from this stance. What's the question? Uh, what's the like, answer? I'm not ignorant. You can't manipulate me into saying something ignorant. With like I'm just not. No, y'all have already made yourselves look ignorant. No. Y'all have already made yourselves look so stupid standing out here. You've got two older people and the rest of you are college age. Don't even know you, you don't even know the history of the Civil War. It doesn't matter. We what do. is We're it just symbolize? saying that it's more complicated than slavery and states' rights, but slavery was part of the reason that the Civil War was fought. But it was as much a part of the North as it was the South. So I mean if like was, okay, no, so so no, who no, are that you that argument does not make sense because if there was one up north and I lived in that town, I would also go protest that statue. Okay, so so you're a third population. You're not the North, you're not the South, you're just <laughs> You know, you're just a, a orb just, just, just hovering out there. I should just take this protest silent for the moment. Eh, if, you wanna, if you want to take it silent. No, but I mean, thank you for talking to us. Hey, look, you know what? You know what? Three years ago, I was arrested standing on public property right here where y'all are standing. Okay? I was arrested because I didn't have a permit. I'm a Marine Corps veteran. I fought for our constitutional rights. In fact, I took an oath to support and defend the Constitution, and that's your right, your freedom of speech, look, you got the same rights as I do. Unfortunately, this town framed me for exercising mine just standing here with the state flag of Mississippi on the sidewalk by myself. Okay, so at the end of the day, no, it's not about symbols. That right there was not about symbols. That right there was about was about our rights as citizens. I agree. And so, and so, no, okay, no. I say, I say go to a vote, and y'all see what the real numbers are. I mean, we I mean, y'all, want, y'all want to put it to a vote? Mean. I mean, is that, is, that something that y'all are, is that something that y'all are after, or y'all just wanting total decimation to remove it without a vote? No. If they, if I they mean, allowed a vote, we would have a vote. If they allowed a vote, it, don't you think it would probably go somewhat like the Mississippi state flag vote? And We're going to find out. What's yep, where it was about 65%. Percent in favor of the flag. Long, long time ago, these millennials can vote now, sir. Well, <laughs> you know what? Have a lovely one. I feel sorry for America. Oh, I'm worried. I am worried. I am worried for America. My God! Look at that. Ah, so you must be one of the older ones that, that they said were over here. Man, I'm representing the seniors. Representing the seniors. My question has been, and I came through here just the other day, um, and I was asking some questions, and they just walked off, started waving the signs again. So here, let me let me pull over right. So what's your name? Greg Mitchell. Greg Mitchell. I'm Matt Reardon. Glad to be. All right. So, why should the statues be moved? Because I think it's divisive, and it does. You know, so a lot of black people don't like it. And it was put up during the Jim Crow era to intimidate the black race. But was it put up during the Jim Crow era for that purpose, or was it because of the outcome of the Civil War? Or was it because of the Civil War? Well, I, I don't think it's because of the Civil War. Now, of course, a lot of the uh, the uh, veterans at that time... And I'm a veteran. Say that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Civil War veterans. Yeah. Uh, the Daughters of... Daughters of the Confederacy, of course, put those up all across the South. And uh, the history of them is obviously just to intimidate the black people. They're right in front of the courthouses, or right in front of the center of town. And, uh, you know, they've become a focal point of hate and division. I mean, how is that not any more of a... I mean, why is it just right here in the center of town a focal point for blacks? I mean, that's... You know, my, here's my thing, okay. Greg, okay? I'm a Marine Corps veteran. I took an oath to protect to, to protect and defend our Constitution, uphold it. And the Civil War, people lost their lives fighting for a cause. The Civil War was not fought over slavery. I shouldn't have to, to you know, just be the one to to break that to you you should know the civil war was not primarily fought for slavery because the union the north had voluntary blacks fighting for it just like 
the Confederacy, the Southern states. It was fought over taxation. Disagree. It's in. It's 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 a known fact, though. You can disagree, but it's a known fact. Well, the, I mean, the it's Mississippi a Mississippi Declaration of Secession specifically and emphatically said it was to prevent protect slave owners rights okay but do you states. also do you, do you do you know what abraham lincoln in one of his debates with stephen douglas spoke just jaw-droppingly just horrible about blacks advocating for slavery and that's the president of the northern states. Well, so, I mean, what's to stop y'all? What's to stop y'all from going and tearing down all statues? You know, the the um, freaking Rushmore. Yeah, I understand. Uh, you know, that was 1865. Okay. That's 1907. I don't think. think so, what's a, what's 50 years or 40 years got to do with anything? Attitudes have changed. The state flag, for example, the Confederate flag has been hijacked by racist hate groups. And so it's become, you know, just a horrible symbol of division. We're the last state to take it down when it does, if and when. Yeah. It will happen. And uh, that's, that's the same reason. It's I times just, have changed. I mean, when you, move, when you go moving statues, what do you have to say about damaging the statue and moving it? There, there's a way to take them down, and there's a place to put them. You're talking about things that are 105 years old, 100, uh, over 100 years old. So how can you say hey, for sure? I, I, I see your point, and I know a lot of people agree with you. A lot of people don't, and especially the minorities and the progressives, which I call myself. And it's just a terrible sign of division. It's not going to be an easy thing. But times have, times have just changed. I'm going to disagree with you on I that. I understand. Because I, I mean, I, you have people. I got some family members you got, right in your court. And I got some in my court. You got people that family. lost. You got people that lost their lives fighting for a cause. Yeah, like I told see, them over there. Hey, what that calls no. It, hey, I say put it to a vote. Isn't that the proper thing to do? No. No. You if just want to take. You just want to yeah. take the the. Well, let me give you an example. If take you over put, mood. If you had, or take over move. If you had put segregated schools to a vote in the fifties and sixties, how do you think that would have turned out? Why? Yeah, why would you compare? Why would you compare it in any way to now? Because it's a similar situation. The, just the moral vote. A vote is not always right. The moral, the majority vote. Just because it's a majority vote doesn't make it right. Because people would have voted to have segregated schools, and maybe you would have liked that still to be the case. But no, that's I got right no, I got plenty or, of black. I got plenty of black friends. You know, all lives matter. It's not, you know, then it's not just black lives, it's white lives, it's it's Mexican it. lives, it's Chinese lives. Mm -hmm. it's, all lives matter. Okay? But okay. I'm sure you're That's one of the right. ones that would be holding up the Black Lives Matter signs, right? I support the Black Lives Matter movement. It's a terrorist organization. Really? Really. Okay. They're the ones that are causing... It's that group itself. Antifa. Okay? It's a good group. The, the problem is... Uh, Hold on. That. What's the problem? The problem is, no. What progress has been made for black people? They're still getting shot. Okay, they're getting shot by their own. Yes. You look at the Not look at the police. look at the stats. White people so, get shot. There, so many more white people get shot by police every year. Fact in the history book. In fact, that, we can Google this fact. Let me get my other cell phone right here. Let me go ahead and fact check you right here on the spot because I I can tell you right now, there are a lot more. Well, they get know, gunned I down think by. That's a problem too, probably. Defensive people. Hey, look. You know, I'm going about it the responsible way. Car. I dealt with injustices myself. Three years ago, I was standing in front of that statue right there, holding the state flag. Standing in front of that statue it wasn't near as deep as y'all, but it was just me. Wasn't making any noise. I wasn't causing any any disturbance. And I get arrested for being on public property, not having a permit. Because I'm a conservative, I had a gun on my hip, and I'm holding the state flag. All of it is I'm constitutionally and legislatively allowed to do. Especially being a Marine Corps veteran that signed a blank check to the government for an amount up to and including his life. Okay? So... I mean, 
My rights as a citizen were slaughtered that day. It led to a vicious... Felt bad, didn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just but you know what? But you know what? What I'm doing right now, I'm not, I'm not wasting my time standing in front of the sheriff's department, you know, yelling foul and yelling injustice. I'm, I'm going and I'm collecting every single bit of evidence in my case right now to vindicate myself. I'm under the gun as far as time. My time is running out. I've got every agency working against me, okay? I don't know the details of your case. It's, it's uh, some bullshit. I think that's another problem, having open carry gun laws. So, uh, you know, we disagree on that too. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, we got to disagree on a lot of things. Well, but here's I, my thing. Here's my thing. We can both, I'm pretty sure we can both agree. I mean, you won't hear this. Like, like when it comes to this side out here, I'll never hear this. I will never hear this. But you have the right to be here. That's your right. You, you have the right to, to think how you want to think, even if it's wrong. Okay? Just like I have the right to come and ask questions, to be here myself. Well, it's, uh, it's good to air the differences. So, hey. Yeah. We'll agree to disagree. Okay. I, I vehemently disagree. I know you're strong Wait, in your core. You disagree with so, what, though? The morality of it. The morality of it. Yeah. So, do you disagree with the fact that? Um, this is yeah, the, I have the, the I have time. the right I have the right to feel the way I want to feel, and you have the way you have the right to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't agree with that. Disagree. And not and not be demonized from for. We probably won't be good buddies, but you seem like a nice fellow. Yeah. So you know, I could probably hang with you. We just have a big difference of opinion. We have a huge difference of opinion. <laughs> I do. Well, All right, look, Greg. Glad to meet you. Hey, Your good to meet is? you. I'm Matt. All right. Outlaw. Greg. Glad to meet you. All right. Hey, look. It's your right, through, granted through the First Amendment, to feel the way that you feel. Okay? Cool. But don't let the way that you feel on a particular matter... Take away from everybody else by removal. And the Black Lives Matter, okay? The sign. I'll tell you this. Black Lives Matter. I give you that. Black Lives, La Black Lives Matter. But so do white lives. So do Mexican lives. So do Chinese lives, even though the China, the, the coronavirus, almost said the China, the China virus came out of there. Look, the fact of the matter is all lives matter. And I know that somebody's going to get on here. They're going to say, oh, uh, this, this, is, this is about, it's, 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 it's about the injustice done. No, injustice happens no matter what your skin color is. You know, there's, a, there's I, I don't even know what the, what the number is. There's way more. There's way more white people that are gunned down by the police every year than there are black. Fact. But I'm not out there looting, rioting, destroying property. My rights were completely destroyed back in 2017. You don't see me out there destroying property. I'm out there trying to vindicate myself through proof. It's a right way and a wrong way. I've heard people say that I'm, I'm too aggressive. Hey, I'm still going about it in a responsible way to make sure that I bring the truth to light. Not out here causing anybody any problems, except for the ones that are responsible and ultimately the real criminals that are part of a public corruption scandal. Go to www.writingwiththeoutlaw.com. I'm publishing more and more public documents daily. 
just published another two just two days ago and I got a lot more I'm gonna to publish today I'm trying to get a calendar up about the I'm about to show the sequence of events let you in on a little secret follow along with me